Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a little while since I've done a video that actually had my voice in it, but I uh, figured I'd start with the Labo kit. There's been a lot of cool stuff going on in the VR universe recently with the Oculus Quest among others. Um, and Nintendo came out with their own kind of take on the virtual reality scene and I, I just I wanted to kind of dive into it and see how well they did if they accomplished what they were setting out to do and I believe I believe from what I've heard that this is definitely one of the better cheaper options to kind of get into VR I, I think that's really cool you know way to get youngsters uh, kind of into it at a cheap price point also, you know, I like the fact that these kits, by nature of being cardboard, are biodegradable. Um, if they break, it's not like a huge big deal. You know, you can always buy another set. Uh, I like that this particular Labo set has the starter pack, which is the VR headset, and the gun. I thought that literally it was going to be this and the full version, so I was like, ah, it's kind of like wasting money because I want to do this to see how the VR is, but I do eventually want to get the full kit because I think that all of the games that they've, they've provided with this VR situation is incredibly uh, interactive and uh, immersive. Uh, it really shows off what the Joy-Cons are capable of, what the Switch itself is capable of, what Nintendo on the whole is capable of when it comes to innovation. You know, they didn't make anything that required extra power or anything like that. So that's that's impressive in its own right. So I'm looking forward to seeing how well this turned out with that in mind. But what I was getting at was I like that I can buy this $40 kit, get the starter, see how it is, and if I enjoy it, each kit is bundled two in each box for 20 bucks, 19.99. I think that's a perfect way to go about this because a lot of people, and I think that's why this is selling so well, a lot of people are hesitant. A lot of people don't know if this is actually gonna be anything that special. Um, not saying it's the perfect VR because, you know, uh, more high quality setups out there, including the PlayStation VR, really immerse you Whereas I feel like this is gonna give us like that peering through a window kind of vibe. But I feel like this is a test for the future. The reception of this has already been amazing and I look forward to seeing what this might mean for future uh, endeavors into VR for Nintendo. I, I really do believe that this is the start of something special. Um, I do hope that Nintendo thinks about having a more hardcore setup, maybe an actual headset with guts in it that provides a, a really good VR experience, but for something that is cheap, accessible, and fun. Apparently building these things are fun. I mean, I built one. I still have my first Labo kit, and that has been awesome, but I literally have only built the fishing rod. I've just had so much fun with that, and at the same time, like, building it took three hours. Like these, these things aren't like short endeavors uh, a lot of the time. So there is that. And I, I do want to go back and, and get into the other games, but you know, we'll see. Another thing I look forward to with, with the Labo kits is will they ever interact together? Because if you were able to create a strap, uh, whether Nintendo does it themselves or someone or, or create a headset that literally is what the Labo headset does, but allows it to plonk on your head. You know, a proper hardcore looking headset made out of plastic. <laughs> but um, I could see other Labo kits working in conjunction with the VR Labo. Like um, VR Mario Kart with the wheel, you know? Like th that kind of thing would be pretty cool. But anyway, let's get into it. Okay, let's, let's get into this. Where is the game? Where is the game? Oh my god. 
Ah, <laughs> psych. Uh, I just wanted to load it up into the system first so we didn't have to think about it. Anyway, now for the fun part, which I will speed through because nobody wants to watch me make these things for three hours. So we're going to start with the VR headset and later on get into the gun. I really just want to see what the VR is like. So I want to play the Mario game and see, see what that's about and play the Zelda and see how that is and just give you guys an impression on those two experiences. Okay, moment of truth. I finally finished it. Um, I'm excited. You can hear it's already doing its thing. Um, apparently there's like a list of games I can choose from just to use this headset. I didn't realize that. I thought it just literally came with the VR, which allowed me to use the gun. I completely overlooked the fact that not only do you have a bunch of games that Nintendo employees made, but you have the ability to kind of get into the software itself and make your own games. So I am totally going to explore that uh, if this turns out to be as good as I'm hoping. You know, I would just really hope that Nintendo wouldn't release something that was completely subpar, like just nothing, nothing special. So <clears throat> here we go. Okay. Resolution is definitely not great. Let's get into one of these games and see what it's like. Um, I'm going to go for the zero gravity one and see what it says. It's a real shame that I can't show you guys what I'm doing. Okay, so this game requires me to have this separate. Hold my god no way dude whoa no way dude like <laughs> sorry i was not expecting it to be this good oh my god you hold a and it makes all the gravity go go back to normal you let go of it and everything starts to float dude the physics alone in this game are really cool but the vr yes okay right off the bat yes the the resolution not amazing but you know what i played the psvr and there are certain games on that most games a lot of the time it just because they're they're splitting 1080 between two eyes so that's like 540 and you know, it's not it's not ideal. It's nothing compared to say the Oculus or or the Vibe, but like in terms of a base uh, experience, something that is easy for people to get their hands on and easy to to get into, this is this is really cool. The only thing I'd say is it did take me a while to build this thing, so I can only imagine what the next ones are gonna be like. I don't even know what I'm supposed to be doing in here, but. It's fun. <laughs> this is cool. Anyway, I'm going to try a different game and just see what the uh, extent of awesome this is. Okay, so Boomerang. Let's try that. I, I will say my shoulder is burning right now. So holding this thing, not ideal. I'm going to create a duct tape strap for this thing. You better believe it. <laughs> But this is, oh my god. How? Oh, 
<laughs> Boomerang is awesome, dudes. Oh my god, this is amazing. I can't believe I'm playing VR on the Switch, as is. No additional power needed. Now, I will say I need to clean these lenses. I didn't learn how to play this game. But I need to clean these lenses because um, I, f I see little hairs and little specks of stuff. But other than that, this is insane, bros. Break the targets. Come on, man. Shake this. Okay, yeah, I'm doing that. I'm trying, I'm trying to use some of my Wii uh, expertise, but it's just not working. Ooh, so you can break them on the way back too. That is cool. Dude, I am blown away at what they were able to do here. So I'm like super excited to see what Breath of the Wild and Mario Odyssey have to offer. Okay, so now for Breath of the Wild. I've heard some funny things that this game does not operate like a VR game should. In that you don't control, you know, where you look. You control the camera with your head movement. So I have a feeling that this is going to be a vomit simulator. Though I am, I just really want to see how how Zelda plays in VR. So let's, let's take a look. Whoa, whoa, man. This is awesome, dude. I mean, to be fair, when you, when you play PSVR games, the ones that are like really made for PSVR and aren't more simple like a Red Hot, like they don't look very good. Like there are elements to them that look really good. Like Astrobot is a simple game that actually ends up looking really good. But uh, a lot of the racing games like Drive Club looks like crap compared to its actual full console release. This is comparable to the actual experience because it's the same game. And to be honest, the fact that this is VR there aren't any uh, games quite like Breath of the Wild available for VR on any other system. So I think this is pretty cool. Now let's let's see how this camera feels. Oh yeah. Yep. Yep. No, not happening. Nintendo, you need to do something about that. Oh my god. Not as bad as the worst experience I've ever had. The worst experience, oh my god, the sun is too much. Sorry, sun just came out. We gotta change locations. All right, what better place to finish than in the kitchen? Um, I'm still feeling kind of gross from that. But uh, no, the worst I ever had was playing um, Dirt VR. Horrible experience. Playing the actual game was fine, and I was using the force feedback wheel. Amazing experience, but uh, the second I socked it into reverse, I thought my stomach was reversing. Like, it, I never felt anything like that, and I had to, like, just stop playing for, like, the next two hours. I felt disgusting, and that just gave me a shadow of that, which I don't like. Nintendo... I think the fact that you've got this game playing in VR is amazing. And honestly, if you, you saw how I was sitting, if you just play sitting down and don't move your head and just use the joystick to control, that's fine. That should not be a thing. You should not have motion controls to control the camera <laughs> unless you put it in a VR setting where I can look around like I'm a little bird following you or something. You know, you should change it to that, or at least try to. That would be insane. That would be really cool. But this experience, complete opposite experience. It makes me want to vomit. Not good. Not good. But just future ideas to do with this. Like, what what could be done next? I mean, not only could this VR Labo, oh, that was beautiful, interact with uh, other Labo kits, but just the way that this could interact with other games, the way... Uh, Labo kits in general could interact with other games like the fishing pole with fishing games or I, I don't know like there's there's just there's no limitation here it the limitation really is 
your imagination, Nintendo's imagination. And it just seems like Nintendo has hit such a lovely stride with these Labo kits and just with the direction that they're going in. I'm I'm really excited for the future. This, this is, I'm like ready to cry. This is amazing. This is absolutely incredible that you took a system that nobody thought could do VR and you made it happen with no real additional cost. 40 bucks to have an experience like this is amazing. I, I give this, this two thumbs up. Two thumbs up, without a doubt. And I've played other, and this is this is the thing, you know, a lot of people might think, you know, with me, Snipey, Nintendo fan, um, some might even say I'm a fanboy, and I will not deny that. Nintendo is my favorite system out of all. And it's because of their innovation and their desire to move the industry forward. And it's things like this that just really, it shows you like what they're capable of. I'm. I knew that, the, that this wasn't going to be that bad. Uh, I'd heard from people, I'd watched videos of people's reactions. Um, I kind of had an idea of what I was going to expect, but at the same time I just didn't know like to the level. I really thought, because a lot of people said that you get like a, a feeling like you're inside of a window peering out. I do not get that feeling. I feel like a lot of people over exaggerated that. This has the same kind of feel as the PSVR does. Obviously the quality isn't gonna be there. You're not gonna be able to have that same level of awesome, but this is so close that I'm, I'm just flabbergasted. <laughs> anyway guys, I don't wanna make this video any longer than it already has been. But I gotta say, you know, anyone out there who was wondering, it's a yes. It's a definite yes. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope if you are a Switch user that you will pick one of these up and just see for yourself. I mean, what is 40 bucks really? You're gonna get a nice VR experience with the gun and then all the experiences that you get with this. And then on top of that, the fact that you can create your own games, that's awesome. The one thing I will say Nintendo, I'm so proud of you guys, but you should have made it an online situation where if someone made a good game, it could be passed through something and, and put on the internet for people to play. You know, kind of like Little Big Planet. I thought that that was super special, the way that creators could make their own levels and project them out into the world. Same thing with Mario Maker. I, I don't understand why you wouldn't capitalize on this. It, it would be so amazing. You'd have such a lush community of people constantly creating. I think you should rethink that and that you should update the game to have that kind of online support. There's no reason it couldn't. If Mario Odyssey or any other game can have DLC, so could Nintendo Labo. I'm just so happy right now. <laughs> anyway guys, as always, thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. If you did enjoy the video, leave a like, leave a comment. That really helps me to know if I'm doing a good job. And it also helps me to get the, the message out there. Also, if you enjoy the content and you're not subbed already, consider subscribing because I'm constantly coming out with content like this. I really appreciate you guys stopping by and I'll see you later.